that throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And he's got Rome. 20. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we... And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it to a sack on a two-point try. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They're down here at a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. The big boy's big dream right there. He got to rumble and stumble all the way for six. Nothing like big man with football, is there? I mean, that brings people onto their feet every